Alright, this is Valley. Uh, it's been out for about a month, but only on Windows. They release the uh, Linux and I think macOS versions uh, last night at about 2 o'clock in the morning. I had it on my wish list for a while. I saw a video by uh, Jim Sterling on it. I think it looked like my sort of game. I'll just uh, come into the settings to show you uh, what I've got. Graphics quality high. I am sporting since this weekend a uh, shiny new graphics card, a GTX 1060. So I should be able to run games at high. Ooh, loud. Uh, with uh, and still record and it not be too bad, but this is my first attempt to do so, so we'll see how it goes. So it's an, it's an action-adventure game. Uh, has a very... Uh, uh, well, it's like steampunk, but sort of more Art Deco, sort of Fallout-style stuff, or perhaps Bioshock. You know, it's, it's like a 40s, 40s stuff. Uh, 40s technology, except amped up. We'll get some story first. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. <laughs> So we'll see how the canoe lets us pay off. Now I did turn the volume down a bit. It doesn't seem to have any effect on my titles. Oh. So I don't know if you'll hear me over this too well. Here we are, crawling out. And we have control. When the rock is. We're not impressed with our canoe lessons. We're in a cave. Ruins and cave ruins. So this is the the this plot is uh there we go, I'm holding shift to run. Plot is mostly in sort of cutscenes and notes and stuff. Uh, what your character is thinking is this message on the screen like that. In general it's quite pretty. I suppose if you like that sort of thing. Oh, it's a bit less smooth now I'm recording. It worked pretty well before. And I'm just running around. It's a Unity game. So, uh, you know, whatever you think of Unity, however that the Unity stuff normally runs for you. This will probably be about the same. Now I can remember the way to go. Here we go. All of this is largely, uh, largely irrelevant this running around. Things don't get interesting until we find the suit. Currently running around in um, in all and wonder. But here we go. Let's open the crates. More story. 
you can see why I said fallout. Oh, so I'm glad I shot. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed Leaf Suit as our hard-working scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the Leaf Suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air. Sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are all part of the many stunts accomplished by the Leaf Suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. How handy is that? And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf Suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. So there we go. So now we're actually into the game proper. We've got this uh, mechanical suit. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. So... There we go, that was some background. In the middle of that, you'll see we learned our ability to uh, run really fast and jump. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> and quite important. Now, you will find... If you land in the water, you die, because the suit is heavy. other upgrades to allow uh, more running and platforming possibilities later on and here we get to the uh, more interesting mechanics of the game so I can shoot Amrita you see the energy up at the uh, top left there I shoot Amrita into dead things to make them living things that. There you go. Hello there. So, that's one thing. We'll carry on. These little orbs replenish our energy. So, uh, suck the Amrita out of the big things. There we go. Like that. again. Where's that other one? There we go. Now the interesting aspect of this uh, taking a ring life, if you look at the uh, top left of the screen you'll see there's a sort of uh, branch thing on the end of the energy. 
and that is the overall health of the valley. So, uh, if I die, which will probably happen, you know what I'm like. If I die, you will see, although I uh, am brought back to life, as you must expect. Calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Sussurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sussurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long. They predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? So, so when you die, it, it kills something else nearby you to uh, resurrect you. Uh, however, and then you'll see the leaves will turn black there on the. Uh, on the little uh, leaf thing, branch thing rather. So you have to uh, balance, balance keeping yourself alive with keeping the valley alive. And obviously, the more times you die, the more difficult it makes it. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers Pathfinders. They can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home's gonna want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. So I've not yet got far enough to see whether this uh, has serious consequences for you finishing the game or anything, but... It's, it's a bit more interesting than the regular you're just going to magically uh, magically respawn. Now, you'll notice here that the feet are sticking through the ground. And you'll also maybe notice that it does seem like you're about four feet high. So I strongly suspect this is a, a, slight, a slight bug feet are in the ground. Possibly it's Linux only. Uh, the next thing we should note is uh, I've had a couple of crashes here, although I have successfully got through it as well a second time, so I'm going to jump down here and smash these rocks open, and if the game crashes I'll cut the video and then try and get past it and carry on, otherwise uh, I'll just carry on talking in a second. <laughs> did crash, but it worked the second time, so I'm carrying on. I won't go for too much longer and spoil... Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. Yeah, I won't go too much farther. Um, the uh, mechanic of staying alive will get introduced shortly. I don't think I'll bother going that far. We'll just uh, run around the corner a bit and get the. Uh, oh, this is it. Well, I guess I will go that far then. 
So I'm going to die as I run across this bridge. You will see that now. Here we go. Demonstrates the uh, demonstrates the mechanic. You'll see that two of these have gone dark, and now we can and find some things to um, revive. No. There we go. Restore the rally to health. You see the leaves are lighting up. Ooh, and I'll get some acorns. I'm just gonna hang on a minute. Just gonna turn the volume down because I had to restart the game because it crashed. So that's one mechanic. Right. Find another thing up in there. I can revive that. There, the valley is back at full health, which means I can afford to die again repeatedly, which you know is going to happen. I'll restore my energy. The natives of the valley worship the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. So, more collectibles. You saw the acorns just a minute ago. It's not been introduced formally yet, but uh, the acorns are one thing. The medallions are no another. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So, the tree produces a life seed. Our next task is to uh, unlock the tree. There we go. Oh, you read that. Nothing else in the box, disappointingly. Check for some more. Now, the clunking of the mechanical suit I find is quite, quite satisfying noise. Uh, clearly, oh, apart from you apparently being three foot high. It's quite, it's quite nice. Uh, the scenery, and we're in a more open area now. The scenery is, is just, uh, well, pretty fantastic. I would have said. Um, this next stage of the quest is to uh, follow the routes to unlock the uh, three obelisks, which unlock the tree and learn more stuff. That's about as far as I've played through. There is. Uh, another mechanic to discover as we're doing that which will allow us to do uh, double jumps there are some enemies and you have to defeat the enemies by feeding them uh, Amrita energy at which point they become friendly again and you can uh, jump through them to restore your Amrita I've only done that a bit once so far um, but yeah in general a very nice game uh, couple of crashes as I said but actually when it's not crashing it performs pretty well um, nobody else is reporting the crashing so I'm, I'm assuming it's just something in my setup that's causing the issue um, I'm not too worried about it because I can still advance through the game I am managing it and uh, yeah it's on sale at the minute 30% uh, something like that 
and uh, yeah, I recommend picking it up. Give it a shot. It's Valley native on Linux, released last night. <laughs> 